you have not seen by the thumbnail and the title, this video is going to contain some leaks. Now, I have a strict policy of if anything which is considered an unofficial leak is pretty much revealed, I'm not going to make it publicly known in terms of like the video description, the title, and the thumbnail. So, if you don't want to find any, you know, potential unwanted leaks, from Super Smash Bros. 3DS, then I highly suggest you click off this video right now because there was some huge information revealed a few hours ago and I'm going to get into it in depth. So click off the video now if you do not want to see these unofficial leaks. You still here? All right, cool, you got some balls. We're gonna look into this shit. Now, I'm gonna have everything on the screen beside me as usual. I'm just gonna talk through this as I go. There's a lot of information to process and a lot of new information on top of everything else. I had the AC running in my room because right now in New York it's about as hot as the devil's ass crack right now and I'm not trying to melt in this bitch. So I'm <laughs> I have the AC on. That was quite a quite that was quite an adequate that was quite a that was quite a nice vernacular that I used there, wasn't it? But anyway, so there's some new information on Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS, and these are potential things that could be true. We don't know for a fact, but let's get into them. So, there was a couple of screenshots on 4chan. Now, I know some of you are saying automatically, if it's posted on 4chan, it's got to be false, but that's the thing. The information that was posted is so riveting. The evidence is kind of it's kind of hard to deny it. So, let's take a look first off. Now, as you guys can see here, the first thing we're looking at is that we have a character select screen here and it's looking pretty damn convincing I mean as you guys can see it, there's pretty much all the roster that's been announced and there are a few things wrong with this image as well too but I'm just gonna go through the, all the images really quick and then we'll do a recap as you can see here on the bottom screen it says ESRB0083 now the argument that the leaker posted was that he worked for the ESRB and he got a review copy to give the game a rating now there were some arguments against this as well because they're saying the ESRB doesn't get game copies they just get sent a video of the game since you know it would be too tedious to play through a game in its entirety to give a rating and that kind of makes a lot of sense because these these games nowadays are huge and it would take a lot of effort just to be able to rate one game if you had to play through the entire thing. So the argument of it being by the ESRB is kind of shaky but whatever. Anyways, now the thing that makes this screenshot so goddamn believable is the fact that the character art on the bottom screen is so precise. Like for example, this Bowser Jr. character art right here, I'm going to use the mouse to show it, this Bowser Jr. art right here. This can't be found anywhere on the internet. It's a custom model, 100%. It can't be backtraced. It can't be um, reverse searched on Google. So we don't know. We don't. I mean, I guess the main thing to take into account with this whole thing is that it's real. You know, I mean, it looks pretty damn real. And you guys are going to keep seeing this as we go through the screenshots. Here's some really convincing shit inside of this leak, which kind of has a lot of people scared because if it's true, then a lot of the information we're looking at on this top screen with characters is true as well. Now, the one thing that does kind of her, well, actually, you know what? We're going to talk about what makes this believable first. So, as you can see here, the Bowser Jr. art. First off, this kind of confirms if this is true that Bowser Jr. is going to be a playable character. And I don't even want to imagine how that's going to be. I mean, they're saying that he's going to be inside of his little Koopa. I, I don't know what it's called. I hate Mario. So, you guys got to forgive me if I don't know the official names for some of the stuff in the Mario universe. But he's going to be inside of that little thing that Bowser kicks your ass with in Super Mario for the um, Nintendo the Nintendo Entertainment System. So, I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. Bowser Jr.? I don't know. And now, so if you look at the top screen here, a lot of people are saying that this is pretty much the roster, but certain characters haven't been unlocked yet. That's why the bottom row, like right here, doesn't really have the full, like the full width that the other top rows have. Now, if you're looking, we got Mario, Luigi, Peach, we got Bowser, we got Yoshi, um, we got Rosalina and Luma, we got Bowser Jr. who was selected here, and we also have Wario. Now, the thing with Wario, a little bit strange, I, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this in the, um, in the footage next to me but the thing with Wario is the fact that right here you see his eyeballs like this eyeball is clearly visible but the one on his um, left side isn't now it's closer to his nose but why would a mistake like that be in the game also one other thing that people were saying kind of debunks this maybe is the fact that Game & Watch's arm is over Wario's portrait but I don't think that's the case I feel like that's just simply the dark area of Wario's portrait with Game & Watch's hand being there, making it look like it's going over. 
This also confirms that Wario is going to be in the game, if it is true, and Game & Watch as well, who we didn't get any official confirmation on either or of these characters. So, you know, this, this leak, you have to understand how significant this shit is. It's revealing some heavy-duty information, and God forbid this is actually real, this could mean, this could mean a lot of people got their hopes either shattered or fulfilled. Anyway, let's keep looking through this. So we got Zero Suit Samus here, we got regular Samus, we got Toon Link, and now here's another thing. This leak confirms that Ganondorf is going to be in the game. Now when I say confirms, you have to understand, this is under the pretense that this leak is official, but I'm not saying that it is officially official, but in case if it was. So according to this leak, it would confirm that Ganondorf is going to be in the game. Now a lot of people already know Ganondorf probably is going to be in the game anyways because he's the main antagonist for the Legend of Zelda franchise. I don't think they would take him out if they if they had to. So I mean, um, Ganondorf. The thing about him is that his character portrait is a little bit dark, as you guys can see here. So it, it looks a little strange, considering that everyone else's portrait is really well lit, and his just happens to be sort of not fitting, just because it's not well lit. Although this could just simply be a design choice. I mean, it could be a sign it's fake. I don't know. We'll see. And um, we have uh, Sheik here. We got Zelda here. Link. Um, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, we got Pit, Paltana, Marth, we have Ike, Robin, my dude, and um, we also have this character here who's selected, who's Bowser, wait, no, excuse me, not Bowser, um, Kirby, yeah, I think that's Kirby, yeah, Kirby, okay, King DDD, we got Meta Knight, we got Lil Mac, we have Rob, and probably the most, n the, the, the most notorious thing to come out of this leak, Oh my god, we got the duck hunt dog in the game, and you guys are probably looking at this skeptically like, you know, no fucking way. You're not going to be saying that when we look at the next part of this leak. But anyways, so we have Greninja, Jigglypuff, Lucario, Charizard, Pikachu, uh, we have um, Falco, Fox, we got Ness, we got Captain Falcon, the Villager. You guys, see, the controversial part of this whole thing comes down to Dr. Mario and Dark Pit, aka Pitu. And here's where things get a little bit weird, because Dr. Mario was somebody that I don't think anybody really cared about too much, not as much as Mewtwo. For him to be making a return, it's somewhat questionable. And a lot of people are saying, oh, I've seen the art for Dr. Mario somewhere before, and other people are saying that it doesn't exist. The argument's kind of split in half right now because a lot of people don't want to believe this and I think just, that's just the main thing right now. There's a lot of people who will say it's fake simply because they don't want to believe this will be the roster. But we know Sakurai, he's a crazy unpredictable psychopath so we, we have absolutely no idea if he's potentially able to do this kind of thing or not. And to dedicate a whole slot to Dark Pit aka Pitu, now I think it could be pulled off because there's a lot of fucking weapons in Kid Icarus Uprising and Dark Pit could easily have a whole different set of moves compared to regular Pit and you know still be a very unique character in himself but a lot of people are saying he's not going to be a recolor oh he's just going to be a clone you know there's no point in having dark pit in the game and i feel like those people are kind of being a little bit too judgmental a lot of people didn't play kid icarus uprising and i feel like that's kind of bad because it was a really good game for the 3ds it was a strong um it was a strong first party game it, it did really well in terms of multiplayer like in terms of how well it was polished and you know the mechanics of it i just feel like the controls were what held it back but it was a great game, and Pitu, he had somewhat of a significant role in there, and he did kind of have a likable personality. A lot of people still don't want to see him in the game as a solely separate character, but in my opinion, why complain? Because, you know, it's not like if Dark Pit wasn't in the game, then Sakurai would make room for someone else. It doesn't work like that. He could put in as many characters as he fucking wants without having any limitations in terms of, oh, there's too many characters, I gotta take one out and put in another. Like, I don't think that would be an inhibitor here, so people need to stop complaining about that. Although I can sort of see where they're mad, considering that, you know, people just don't like clones in the Smash community. Understandable. Now we also have Lucina here. Now the strange thing about this is that Dr. Mario, Dark Pit, and Lucina can all be sort of classified as clones, and yet at the same time they're all in the same row. People are saying this could be called the clone row. And while I guess that does sort of make sense, it still is a little bit strange to see that these guys are separated from their franchises. I would have thought they would be up there. And um, finally, we have Shulk from Xenoblade. And my nigga Relax Alax actually had called this out from a long time ago. And he, if this is correct, then he was 100% successful in that. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I think he's an interesting character. I don't really know shit about him, but he looks cool. I like the whole red theme. I, I hope he gets in, man. I mean, he looks like a cool character from here. And we, and we got these guys down here. This is going to be the third party row, I guess. Now. A lot of people are saying, just from this screenshot, there's a lot of things wrong. Like, for example, Kirby, 
his character selection screen here, this line is somewhat thick in comparison to the other person's lines here, but I don't know. I mean, I think people are getting a little bit too nitpicky on this. 4chan is fucking hilarious because these guys, like, you know, as much as the people who don't want to believe this are complaining, the same thing happened with the leaks of Greninja and the leaks of Halucha when Pokemon X and Y hadn't come out yet. People saw Greninja and Halucha when they were leaked early and they wrote them off as fake right away. Like, I think the split was like 80% of the 4chan community thought that they were fake. Turned out to be real. But they nitpicked at every single slight detail that they thought could be wrong with it. And they made a lot of compelling arguments as well, too. At one point, 4chan had already convinced me that Greninja's design was not going to be the final evolution of the water starter, but sure enough it was. I was convinced that Holucha wasn't a real Pokemon until the game came out, and sure enough he was. So I think if you really want to not, if you really want something to be wrong, you'll find every single detail you can to prove so. And I'm not using that as an argument to say that this image is real, but you gotta look at it from both spectrums, you know? Now, let's continue looking at these screenshots, because already this one took a lot of our time, but this one had the most information to process, so the other ones won't be as time consuming. Let's take a look at the next one. I just opened up a new tab, so I'm gonna have to go back here. Okay, here we go. So now, in this one, we have the character select screen, and this is somewhat of an interesting image. Now, once again, I'm going to reference my dude, Relax Relax. I'll put him in the comments, I mean, excuse me, I'll put him in the description below. He makes some far better analysis videos on Smash Brothers than I do at the current moment, or at least in a somewhat of a more informative format. He knows a bit more about Smash Brothers than I do, although I do know a lot myself. You know, I ain't slacking, but you know, he breaks it down in a bit more of a easy to understand way than I do. This is more of a reaction to this kind of stuff, but he was able to name all these stages just from seeing them. And you know, one thing that I do complain about is the fact that these images aren't really that high resolution. I mean, a cell, my, my fucking cell phone camera can take better pictures than this thing, but whatever, you know, I guess that's the way it goes down. Like, once again, I'll say, there's a lot of stuff that says that this stuff is not real. So don't say that this is real just from my reaction to it, but we gotta give it a little bit of time. Like right now, one other main argument that has people saying that this image cannot be real is the fact that as you guys can see here, um, you gotta follow the mouse that I have on the screen, but as you guys can see here, this screen, this character select screen, along with the um, other screen that I showed you, you know what, let me, let me open up my tabs. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see, well, you don't really have to look close, but the 3DS, there's no separation. Now, if you have a 3DS, you know for a fact that when you take a picture of it, you got the top screen and the bottom screen and this little bound, boundary border thing in the middle. If you take a picture of your 3DS, it's obviously going to show the border in the middle. There's no fucking border in any of these screenshots, including this one. That has a people a little bit iffy about if these images are real or not, but I feel like maybe if they took pictures of it, maybe they could be playing it from a capture device, like I play my 3DS games, you know? That's something that they could probably pull off. I mean, maybe they got sent like digital review copies or something, I don't know, but that does kind of make it odd, because if ESRB was sent copies to review, then wouldn't they have to play the game or the, the demo that they sent them on the actual 3DS. So why would they have a capture device if they're reviewing copies of the game that, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me like that. But you know what, grain of salt, keep that mentality in mind. Let's take a look at the next picture, which is probably going to be the one to blow your minds the most, if I'm correct as to which one it is. All right, so this one is not the big mind-blowing one, but it's still pretty damn crazy. Dr. Mario, man, you guys gotta let me know in the comments section what you think about the potential of Dr. Mario being included in Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and the Wii U. This screenshot looks extremely compelling, man. I mean, it looks extremely realistic. This design of him doesn't exist anywhere. There's art and models that are similar, but none of them fit this precise this precise um, artwork of the guy, or should I say 3D model of the guy. Now, everyone on 4chan right now is saying, yo, you can fake that, you can fake that, anyone could do that, you know, with a little bit of Photoshop, a little bit of 3D model rendering. I don't know about that. I just don't know, man. It fits too perfectly. If this is fake, this is the best fake that I think has ever been conceived for a Smash Brothers game. But, you know, grain of salt once again, man. I don't know. I mean, I want to believe but I, I, I just don't know. Next screenshot from the leak, we have Shulk here. Now, a lot of people are saying that Shulk's image looks extremely similar to Little Mac's image, and I'll, I'll probably show you guys a little bit of a reference to that later on, but I, I like the idea of Shulk being in the game. Once again, we're looking at a character 3D model which doesn't exist anywhere else on the internet, so if this is a fake, the person had to make this custom, 
but why go through all that work? I don't think it's fake, man. I mean, it just looks too real. It looks too compelling. I wish to be proven wrong, and I wish to be proven right. I really don't know where I stand with this whole thing, but Shulk being included would be a great addition to bring some more light to the Xenoblade series, because um, I don't know about it at all, but you know, from how he looks, it looks pretty cool. Robin's inclusion made me interested in Fire Emblem, man. I'm loving it so far, so you know, I think it would be a very smart move for Sakurai to put somebody in, like Shulk, because you know, Xenoblade kind of doesn't really get that much attention in America. It gets a lot, but not as much as it really deserves, I feel even though I haven't played it, but it looks like an amazing series. Now, moving on. This, my friends, is the image that is busting everyone's balls right now. Oh man, this, this image is ridiculous. Let's make it a little bit more full screen. As you guys can see here, we got Duck Hunt. The Duck Hunt dog is going to be in Super Smash Brothers. I, I can't believe it, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, okay, I'll be honest, at first I didn't believe it, or because I didn't like the idea, but to be honest, it kind of does seem like a cool addition. I mean, you know, the Duck Hunt dog is probably one of the most fucking irritating antagonist slash protagonist, I guess, of any old Nintendo game. Like, this guy's laugh is fucking sinister, and it would be perfect in a Smash Brothers game as a taunt. It, I just love the idea. But the more I think about Duck Hunt, at first I wanted to kill the guy who made, who, if this was fake, I wanted to kill the guy who made this, but now, as I had some time to sit on the idea since it's been a few hours, I think it works out really nicely. The Duck Hunt dog works, but a lot of people are saying that it's kind of odd if this was real, because why call him Duck Hunt? I mean, but then again, what would you really call him? Duck Hunt dog and duck? It wouldn't fit. Then again, you have Zero Suit Samus as well, but Duck Hunt, I feel like, is an appropriate name if the guy really is going to be in the game. Plus, he's a first party character. He deserves a lot more shine in modern games since, you know, he only really had one game. A lot of people are upset because they're saying there are probably characters who could have been, you know, used for this slot and otherwise, but that's one thing you gotta understand. Sakurai's not going to put the character that you want in if one other character is removed. Like, the amount of characters and the slots that they take up don't really matter to Sakurai. He can put in whoever he wants to take out whoever he wants. So we can't attribute that characters he put in are because other characters didn't get in, you know what I mean? Because he wouldn't, he wouldn't say, oh, maybe I should put in Excite Bike over Duck Hunt or Duck Hunt over Excite Bite. No, he would either say, I want Excite Bite in the game, I don't want Duck Hunt in the game, or vice versa. He wouldn't, he does, it's not an issue of limitation of character slots, it's just simply Sakurai's madness. Now, one thing that has me concerned about the legitimacy of this photograph as well is at the top of the screen here. Now, the 3DS screen, we've seen in other Super Smash Bros. 3DS footage, and I can pull that up for you guys right now. We've seen in other Super Smash Bros. 3DS footage that when you're on the character select screen, you guys are kind of going to be taking a little bit of a look into my um, web browser here, but um, we, we got to do a little bit more research together here because this shit is kind of ridiculous. I, um, but basically, this screen, I guess, will be the screen where you're in a, um, a battle, right? Oh, and let me go back. So this is the screen when you're in a battle, but where's the character damage percentages? Those don't show up. And we've seen in other 3DS footage that those do show up when um, you're battling in the 3DS version. So let's just flip this up. Smash Bros 3DS gameplay. And if we take a look at the bottom screen when you're playing on the 3DS, uh, you see that there is character percentages there. So as you can see here, oh, okay, maybe that was the character select screen. So you see the so in this um, potentially fake image, you see the level on top and the um, icon with the player number. And here, you don't really see that. You see the character with the level and the icon. All right. So okay. So as you guys are seeing here, this is an official demo thing. Now a lot of people are also saying you know you can't really use the demo for reference because that was just a mock-up made for E3. You have a good point there, but you know let's analyze all the bases while we have them. So as you guys can see here, you have these characters down here, you have um, Luigi, you have him with the Smash 7, I guess that's his level, with the player number and the icon, but at the same time you also have the percentage. I wish the thing would show the freaking thing, go down more! By the way, footage courtesy of Nintendo World Report, really cool channel, they uploaded a lot of the music of Smash Brothers, and I'm loving it so far. I really want to see the bottom screen though. Okay, so let's see. We're, we're just, we just need to look at someone's footage for reference, you know. Um, but no one has the damn bottom screen. Jesus. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so 
Here we go. Boom. Perfect. This is going to pretty much put everything into some kind of perspective. So as you guys can see here, you have the character with the percentage right on top of them and the CPU number or the, I guess the identification of who is playing. We don't see the CPU, we don't see the damage meter here. And plus, we have this really strange portion of the top screen here. I don't know what the hell this black part is, but I guess you could say that, you know, if the, if the border of the 3DS isn't present in any of these leaked images, then why would it be present here? But what is that? What is that top part? I don't understand where that comes from. Maybe I'm overlooking into things, but the thing that makes this image so compelling is the fact that the artwork for the Duck Hunt dog is immaculate. There's nothing about this that says fake. This is the best, most clean 3D model render I've seen of any character who was, you know, confirmed yet in Super Smash Bros. I mean, it looks really good. You can't lie. It looks perfectly in line with all the other characters here. You know, he looks like he fits in the game perfectly. It's hard to say that someone faked this, man. It really is. I mean, it looks so real. How do you fake that? Maybe the only way that I could see them possibly faking this, they would have had to have taken this onto the 3DS bottom screen. Like, they, they, you can't Photoshop that. Or maybe you can, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know what to believe, man. I'm really confused myself. I don't want to sound like an idiot saying that, you know, oh, it's real, but it just seems like something like this can't be faked. I, I just don't think it could be faked, but anyway, so we are pretty much running to the end of these images. The final one is just a compilation of all the images together and um, a couple more that were released after the fact. Now everyone on 4chan of course was asking, you know, give us some gameplay so we can believe you. And this is the shot that we got. It's of course blurry as hell because all leaked images are proposed, um, spoilers, are blurry but no matter what. But it apparently shows Lucina, Shulk, Ganondorf, and Charizard in battle with Shulk winning for his team. And it looks legitimate. I mean, it follows the format of how you win matches in the um, 3DS version perfectly. But, you know, there's still doubt. There's a lot to these images that kind of make them seem like they're fake. There's a lot that makes them seem like they're realistic. And you can't forget that 4chan and the internet in general have this really bad habit of nitpicking the little things that really don't make a difference, you know? Like, I think sometimes they read into things a little bit too much and they assume the worst. Like, just because one pixel is off on Ness's shirt doesn't mean that everything about the leaks is automatically fake. You gotta take into account that sometimes Sometimes the shit isn't up to the standard that you set for it to be realistic. Like, you gotta understand that your perceptions of realism aren't exactly going to be the standard that Sakurai follows. This is a strange man. There's a lot of things that he could have done differently with this whole thing, and I just think that it's wrong to assume that this stuff is fake just because it hasn't followed a format that preceded it. You, you can't. You can't judge it like that. And on that note, I'm going to end this video. There's a lot of points to cover here. I definitely did not cover them all, but you guys gotta let me know what you think. What do you guys think? I want you guys, as the people who view my videos, to let me know. This is massive information. If you're going to talk about these leaks, these potential spoilerific leaks, please make sure you do so with caution, because there could be a lot of people out there that don't want to know about this information yet. This is not officially leaked. Excuse me. This is not officially revealed by Nintendo. This is an unofficial leak. So please, be careful and delicate with this information when sharing it. So you do not spoil people who do not want to be spoiled. You had a choice to watch this video, and you chose to watch it, so you acceptingly took in to, the, to these leaks. But some people may not want that, so make sure that you share this information with that in mind. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.